All right, another fire burned close to Cal Expo in Sacramento today. 22 acres in all charred along the American River bike trail. Firefighters say that it was human caused, sparking near a homeless encampment. It's just the latest in a string of fires that have started near encampments. So, what can be done to reduce the fire threat? CBS 13's Madison Keevy is getting answers. She joins us live now from Sacramento County with more. Madison. Well, let's start with the fuel. This is the kind of dry fuel added with this wind that has a county supervisor telling me that these types of fires started near or by encampments are serious issues that aren't going away anytime soon. Smoke, flames, and 22 acres burned. Make sure everybody's all right. You know, make sure everybody's okay. And Brett Marcos lives unhoused in Sacramento County in an encampment that today was linked to the start of this fire. We're getting answers. What's the solution to a problem that county leaders have seen play out summers before? We saw a lot of fires on the parkway that were linked to encampments, and I think that this may be just the beginning this summer that we're going to see the same thing. One solution, preventative education measures, safe fire use, not smoking where there's tinder, not cooking on an open flame, lessons from community partners to those who live unhoused. I asked Brett about those preventative measures. You got to eat and you got to be warm at night, so nobody out here, everybody's real careful. It's all their stuff. Nobody's trying to burn anything down. Another solution that may come sooner than later, a $5 million proposal for a reserve area adjacent to the American River Parkway to offer alternative housing. It's an area the County Board of Supervisors chair told CBS 13 there are an estimated 2,000 people who live unhoused. Still not an overnight fix. I asked about how to fix this sooner than later. Are there short-term solutions for this issue? We're, you know, we are working with additional uh, encampment uh, teams and forces of people to offer behavioral health, to offer housing, the choices that we currently have. Another solution, more housing. Already in place, 60 beds earmarked for people from the parkway at the Salvation Army. Not enough for everyone, but a start. The issue is not going away. It's a very serious one, and I wouldn't want to understate that at all. 